my 1964 Lady by Slingerland, Blue Silver Duco, 8x12, 16x16, 14x22, and a chrome over brass, 5x14, only the snare and the bass drum have badges. This era, the tom and floor tom do not have air holes or badges. They do have tone control. Straight leg with the uh, push button. Just had to put little Allen heads in there and no longer have the original buttons. I'm using Slingerland hardware. Actually, I have a WFL snare stand, but Slingerland 70s and 60s uh, flat base cymbal stands. Um, Asco and... Uh, Zildjian 14 inch hi hats, 18 inch A Zildjian symbol, <laughs> 22 inch Zildjian symbol, and I'm using fiber skins on all the uh, heads. The uh, front and back on the uh, bass drum are Power Stroke threes, um, with the impact pad on the you know the muffler muffle and the uh, impact pad on the back, um, and just fiber skin. Tops and bottoms, just kind of give it a mellow sound and kind of tie that duco in, which doesn't look perfect all the time. You know, got rash everywhere here and there, just to make it look, uh, you know, vintage like the rest of the kit. Symbols still dirty. Uh, 22 has been cleaned up before. The bass drum mount uh, symbol holder um, I'm not using because the symbol is so big. Um, I'm not really crazy about the hi-hat stand or the bass pedal, um, but of course this isn't really a gigging kit for me or anything. Um, I'm going to go put it in the stand here, and I'll let you hear how she sounds. It was all purchased together I, when I bought it. It was all together. Um, yard sale. <laughs> Same with the Regal Tip uh, 7A's, a whole bunch of them with the old green logo on it. And some other uh, Rogers uh, finger control model sticks also in there. Rogers sticks. Nice old speed key. So I'm going to be using regal tips with nylon tips, so when you hear the cymbals, I'll let you hear the cymbals first. 4 inch, inch hi-hats, kind of papery. Fourteen by twenty two. 